like one of them. You're not. You're not. Even if you'd like to be. Welcome to my EP lunch. It's empirical evidence that data set APs, alpha, beta, and gamma, they're going to be out on Amazon, iTunes, Spotify, Beatport, anywhere that I can possibly get to sell my stuff because it's brilliant. Um, this is my EP launch night. Um, we have the one and only battle of the night, so this is going to be really fun. There's a few people here who have not been and seen a rap battle before, and uh, there's a lot of people here who have. Um, so I'm expecting a decent response from the crowd. Uh, general rules, basically, for the guys who don't know, um, it's all we're not like mic top and stuff, um, so you can, you can laugh and stuff like that. In fact, we kind of hope that you're going to laugh, um, but please don't talk. Um, it's all going to be um, the recordings on like the camera and stuff, so we need decent audio. It's going to go off on YouTube, um, Hush Hush Media Channel. Um, so respect, respect these guys; respect. they've been prepping. Um, it's going to be a really good battle. Just just keep it hush. But if you if you're going to laugh, laugh because that's brilliant. But if there's any stumbles, which there won't be because these guys are professionals, don't, don't make them Basically, what she's trying to say, let's get it on and show sure. yeah. it. Yeah. Let's do this shit. Yeah. 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 Run a bit of what Much as I like saying, oh, yeah. So, have um, oh, we done a toy for the time? And this is the bed. So, we're going to go first on our first round on upper case. Okay. Up case on my left versus Death Majors on my right. We've got Lyrical Tension versus No Ego. No Ego. Round number one on Up case. See, I actually respect death, but for five minutes it has to be said that respect is death. That means it's unheard of. You see, I'll nurture a world of uncurring verbs just to be universally turned like a smirk from the nervous and watch as I leave this turd vocally worse because then burr round bars the worthless. And the verses you work with, they're insulting this rap world. You rap turd. And he does that, ladies and gentlemen, by grabbing words, inserting nouns, and then lacking work. See, I actually think it's absurd this wanker can stand there and chat there while upstairs his girl was getting fed sperm until she hurled. See, that wasn't nasty enough. So let me tie that bitch to a chair. But be work, because this time I'm inserting deep her. Double-sided bird hoops and tin curls like pincers, they'll pinch her and I'll service that cervix until Edge just don't leave her. Leaving you like dreamers, no children, just dream works. <laughs> and now let me see if these bars will work. Because I've actually thought that bars upon bars have become a gate to fencing off an enclosed joke like it was a locked door on a cubicle. And in just a few words, watch as I turn this square to circular like a box in ring and I'll go deep like purple. And I mean the rock band. Basically I can chug a biff in the bath and call it smoke on the water. <laughs> <laughs> because that was one of Deep Purple's tracks. And the only reason I've been explaining that gag is not for the benefit of you battle rap fans, it's down to the fact that fag of a man would not understand a bear if it cracked the back of his fat camp nap and sent him to sleep in bags. Like. <laughs> so you can say what the fuck you like because the fact still stands. You're as lenient as a bulimic at lunchtime and not fat. <laughs> Let me just say one more thing. Earlier on today he had to delete a pic because it looked very suspicious like he had spunk on his lips. <laughs> <laughs> Plug the fact he's draining like a liquid that underflows beneath the system. Because this man's gonna sink. Look, I'm aiming to be one of the Northwest sickest. So from here on out, I only want to go against those spectacular spitters. You know the ones, great flow, amazing writings. So Jed. Why do you match me against one of the shitters? <laughs> so, for this event, I was after an experienced MC. A new low, a legalised, someone I'd have to be serious to beat. Someone I'd have to up my pen game for, not this waste chief. A man whose life resolves around his next bit of weed. But fuck it, I'ma be who you want me to be. The nastiest cunt in battle rap 
It's true. He actually said that. Mm. So fuck it. I'll be that horrible cunt today. Get on the phone. Explain your parents and skills to the CSA. Because you've got two kids. You've got two kids whose care needs are great. But if you smoke weed every day, I'll have them bust down your door and take your kids away. Oh. 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 Call me what you want, my motives are parents. I don't think you deserve children unless you can be a good parent. So spitting spit bars about suicide while they hold the camera? That shit's scary. Stop wasting your money on drugs and hosting shit shows. Use that, <laughs> use that, bread, to hold, use that bread to feed your family, give them a good home. Here's where to kill them, no knife. Rip his family in two. Katana slice. <laughs> Cause who's looking after your children tonight? <laughs> now look, I think ripping families should be forbidden. But not once in this battle will I badmouth your children. I wish them good health and happiness in the long life they're living. But if you're here, it's only your family's grave that you're digging. Oh. So take my advice. Cause you look, at one point, you stuck a needle in your vein or sucked on a crack pipe. Oh. <laughs> so the problem hey, is one time no, no, no. So the problems your children have to overcome, it's from mistakes you've made in your past life. So the drugs, it needs to stop, dude, cause your wife will go, your kids too, that's when I'll pass you the knife, dude. Drugs, they need to stop, kid, cause when your family's gone, you realise suicide's your only option. Oh. Yeah. You see, no, he attacks rapidly, packing in the savage and tactical lyrical strategy, compared to his past when he'd actually grapple and straddle in order to fashion his victories. And I will say well done to him because both of those ventures do exhibit wins. But what I've been thinking is, during your last verbal victory, it actually consisted of him just stuttering and stammering all the way through it. <laughs> and something else about him, it actually taught me this. He's more of a stuck-up cunt than a G-string is on a real big bitch with a thyroid deficiency. <laughs> <laughs> in fact, no, in fact, come to think of it, whether he battles a mate or not, his limitless capabilities of performing lies, deceit and ignorance has got me thinking this dick's a bigger prick than clenching his fist and punching my five-year-old autistic kid. Oh! <laughs> And for one minute, let me talk about your blog. It's called, because it's still there, The Diary of a Wannabe Mixed Martial Artist. <laughs> he only posted twice, and then in the part about him, said I work in a bar and my long term partner doesn't want me to be a part in this. Well, she wasn't working out and through an injury he had to quit. So by now, are well, you not used to losing shit? I'm undefeated. See, you actually look like a fat Sean Pegg. <laughs> so let me have some fun. Your ex have ginger hair, so there's your hot fuzz. And I reckon every time you get your dick sucked just before you spunk for motivation, Rachel shakes, come fat boy, come. <laughs> Yo. He's calling me fat. I'ma keep eating and getting fatter. Lad, you look like a smackhead. <laughs> And you want to talk about how I stumble and stammer? You've choked in every battle like a gay guy with a dick in his throat. You've got that deep throat swagger. <laughs> <laughs> now look, in this round I'm going to talk about those you align yourself with. People who bring tools to shows to damage someone's health. You fine with that mick? You okay your business partner pulled a strap on a 16 year old kid? Did you know it would happen? Was he like, I'll blitz and show what real road is? So tonight when you fuck off to St. Helens or Wigan Pier, I'm gonna make you, him and your problems disappear. Cause from everything I know and I'm being honest here, I'll ask GBM to fill you with holes and show you that kid's fear. I'll be your new mentor, cause like you to him, I'm a bit older. I'll use force on you to make you see sense. I'll be Yoda. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> I 
And let me tell you, for this battle, I wanted to get ill. I've been on that hops and graft. I wrote 12 rounds for you. Let's call it a boxing match. <laughs> but this is a great professional versus a good amateur lad. So I'm going for that quick KO and you're going down fast. Now I'll stop calling your mate scum and you a shit dad. Let me talk about your jobless past. <laughs> you should be my personal slave for what I've paid in tax. Look, <laughs> look, I'm just venting, sick of seeing tramps like him hanging around the job centre. Moronic staff saying, what have you done to look for work today? His head spinning, eyes glazed, body odour of white lightning of four ace. <laughs> Since 16, I put myself through college and worked every day. You're jobless with a family to support. You should feel ashamed. Oh. So fuck it. If we compare a battle to a fight, he's had his jaw broken, two black eyes. I'm Muhammad Ali in his prime. And if you dream of beating me, you need to wake up and apologize. Oh. Damn. Quote. <laughs> <laughs> Nice one for the shouts on the fucking boys, man. See, he is a decent guy. Boom! Shut up, man. See, he is a decent guy. And like Forks, he brings fire in. I give respect because he gives it back, but for just over a minute, James, you're still a dick. <laughs> a waste man, bitch. In fact, I go as far as to say I want you to catch HIV, Jim. And then on one of your routine visits to the clinic, I want the GP to say this. I'm sorry, Mr. Ford, it's progressing to ways. The medication isn't reacting, and I don't think you're going to make it. <laughs> See, now watch as I add the facts to divide this man, then take him apart like a mathematical equation. Before you hastily place in words of lyrical amazement, think about the days later when realisation kicks in and makes you reevaluate your whole situation. You've got two food related qualifications, so in this next scheme, you can do me a favour. Go find a kitchen chef and prep your station, grab the pastry. Preheat the oven to 180, add meat and potatoes, and make this wig and add a nice pie and gravy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> See, he thinks his battle onslaughts are unstoppable. It's a fact he is a funny and a mean guy. But to put us in order, I'm chronologically common. And as long as we're giving honest opinions, it's simply a given you go big when you're little. Well, watch me dwarf you and lyrics so big, it's astronomical. Because this man is always rapping his back, but the fact still stands, I'm not the only one that lacks what grabs the attention of fans. Because every battle he has, he packs on audible crap, and the talent he has is as real as the shit he chats. Because he hollers like he's popping collars, but honestly, it's bollocks. It's actually common knowledge his real work involves serving pop to talk. <laughs> Fuck it. You see, remember when I told you in witness, and today I had a little bit of something else. So before I forget, you're not the biggest prick in here. After all, I've heard all about the manageress. Big <laughs> 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 da. Yo, you ready, yeah? Yeah, kid, you are comical, kid. You're only comical because you're shit. <laughs> <laughs> In this round, I want to address some shit. Talk about how I feel disrespected. I'm gonna call you a shit out and calcium kid a bitch. See, he bad man needs to jade off. She's a slag, so trust me, she snitched. Ooh. So fuck you and your boy who tried to threaten Jake. Cause I rated you highly, Jason. Let me tell you straight. I hope you get hit by a bush, your head falls off decapitate. Or if you want to go outside, you'll get laid out with the power of a hammer of Thor blast. Now let me give my middle finger to the manager rest of the ship and forecast. <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen, listen. See, see, we tried to book this place for our next event. Cause G-Dub was rocking trackies. She treated everyone like a dickhead. You stupid cunt, push us, give the money to the Zanzibar instead. Yes! <laughs> oh, Let, now let me move back to this deranged looking pagan. So far I've shown you respect and pity. Let me exchange it for hatred. Cause you were nothing but a bitch over a Facebook status. Yeah, you posted an indirect about my team. We're a collective. So when you indirectly insulted them, you directly insulted me. Plain pulled you on it and you simply shit yourself. Said it wasn't about no ego, it was somebody else. So, I know I'm on it now. So basically, <laughs> basically, you flapped it. Now everybody here knows uppercase a keyboard warrior and a faggot. <laughs> I 
promised I wouldn't mention your kids, but that status was about my family, so I could go in. I could drop a stereotypical bar about autism, say I could give your children a series of intricate directions, ask them again in 20 years, knowing they'll never forget them. Oh. Yes. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. Fuck you if you think I'm that evil. I don't badmouth disabled children, I disable people. <laughs> I'll treat you like a Manchester pensioner. I'm Harold Shipman. <laughs> so next time you put that spliff to your lips, know it's time to die. Because I'm a scout cunt and I've grafted your weed and replaced it with strip nine. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'm talking like it was tight. Man, man come with some fire. I don't know. So, so you death, death came with fire on the first round. Second round, kid, kid sort of pulled it back, but death was still here with him. Third round, death again. I got so two one go death. death two one death. All day. Two one death. The same. Boom. Uppercase yeah. nine. Uppercase yeah. was alright still. Yeah, don't get me yeah, but, I just reckon they have to better and more yeah. confidence and more like, Hey, no, yo, listen. Haunted audio, yeah, you need to check our shit. Hard time TV on the streets now. right now. 350 a fucking go. Ghost dropping at the end of August, six pound a go. Support your city, man. Everyone else is supporting us. Yeah. Bless. Yo, sorry, yeah. Um, team Tata Flores, pick up the Haunted Audio crew. What? Like you said, hard times. That one called Rapping Out Middle East. Yeah. yeah. Upcase came with some good syllables in the first round. Death, he had more. I was in the way. Yeah, Daddy had more. Yeah, that. He came with it. He smashed it, you know what I mean? Second round, <laughs> same again. He came with some good <laughs> syllables, some good bass, some good flow, some good punch lines. But the way Death, the way it's meant to go, it's, it's, it's about funny, it's about the crowd reaction. Death, he just came with it. He smashed it. The third round. It's all about jokes, maybe a couple of little laps and all that, but all around, I reckon we'll be that age or something. Oh! Yo, it's Brock saying it's been broken down before. Um, I gave that free now to Death Majors, but it's not like he won by a large mile. I reckon uh, Upper Case came with some sex shit, but Death took that free now. We had on case versus death majors. Um, guys giving it four <laughs> nil to three nil. Three nil. Yeah. There were four of you. Anyway, three rounds. Are we doing it again? Yeah, pull that again. Yeah, let's let's start let's again, start yeah. Thanks, Hold it down. I've been drinking liquor and smoking blunt all night. No. I'll take him anyway. Leave it him. Leave it him. On the top. Body bag. Explain it to Edgy how to count. Uh, anyway, it's so that really long introduction. Uh, yeah, judge's decision 4 0 to Death Majors. No ego, no power, hard time, GP. Ghost. Or end of August. Or end of August. Standard shit. It's Merseyside crime, it's Merseyside time, it's in the sea, rise up from the dead. If you're looking to invest, well, right now's best, cause when I go on a full speed,